Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, this time this is actually tutorial number 9. I uh, got my counting a bit messed up, actually. Um, this tutorial is for a guy called Rhombushead over at um, Face Punch. And um, what he wants to know is how to make the map, or how to make a bed like in uh, the horror map. Can't remember what it's called, but the scary horror map. We walk through and the bed and the mattress fly upwards. So, <coughs> all that involves is a trigger underscore once and a trigger underscore push and that is about it so I'm just going to make a basic go away java update a basic area to do this in Let's not make the sky a bit higher so you can fling the objects up uh, duplicate draw. vertex manipulation remember Bring the corners down, just like that. Except it looks nice and neat. Uh, select, uh, shift and drag. Tools to tr 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 transform. 90 degrees long the z-axis. Pop that back in there. Take the floor, duplicate that up, and that's your basic room. Okay, now I just need some walls and shit. <coughs> <coughs> for the sky so tools skybox okay so we have our basic little room thing here over there. I don't actually got my texture title um, yeah so the first thing you're going to need is the props you want to fling up into the air so you're going to need a prop underscore physics okay so you place one of those down double click that come over to the world model and you can choose any physics model you want I'm just going to have the mattress that is wrong. Uh, if you want the mattress, that's going to have to be a prop underscore ragdoll. If you want the mattress, because that is a ragdolled object. So uh, select the mattress again. Apply that. Right now, you're also going to need a bed for the mattress. So I'm just going to duplicate that. Rename the entity to a prop underscore physics. Then search for bed. Uh, uh, that's portal. We don't have another nice bed, do we? No, we do not. Lovely. I can't just choose that one. I think it's physics. Info physics, marvelous. Okay, apply. So now we're going to have our bed there and the mattress there. Let's bring that down one. Okay, so that is your bed and mattress. And you want these to fling up like in the horror map. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to head over to the brush tool, uh, select the trigger texture, and make a brush <coughs> just around that like so. Okay, after moving the mattress up or the bed up a bit, because that is in the floor. physics so that'll be fine. That's just right. Okay. So you have your trigger brush here. Uh, you're going to press control control T, tie that to a trigger underscore push. Yeah, trigger underscore push. Okay, start disabled to yes. Uh, the speed of push, how hard do you want the objects to fly up? It has to be more than eight hundred because that is the default gravity setting I think. I will put that in the description, I'll just confirm that. Uh, more than 800, so I'm going to set one to 2000, just for a laugh. Uh, push direction, uh, select up. Um, name, push underscore zero one, because I always do underscore zero one for some reason, I do not know why. <coughs> Sorry, I just brushed against the microphone. Uh, flags, select everything. Okay, and that's the basic just a bit there. And then what you're going to need to do is create a brush, which is no draw, because I like no draw. 
uh, brush which is no draw just to test it on so right about there I've done this in my other tutorial as well with the flinging soda can with the trigger underscore wind let's attach to this ok then on top of there you want another trigger um, you will want a trigger underscore once I suppose yeah that'll do a trigger underscore once, so press control T type to a trigger underscore once apply, apply uh, you won't need to name this you will just have to head over to outputs and you add uh, on trigger push underscore zero one which is your trigger underscore push and enable and I think that should work um, some scale maps will use a delay so like two second delay I'll have so that means then all we need now is an info underscore player underscore start actually no, only two things we need this, the info underscore player underscore start and a light underscore environment I said that like a bit of a faggot, but I don't care because I like lighting. That sounds gay. But whatever, yeah, lighting is um, always good to have in your map because it prees it up. Even when you're just testing something out, it's always nice to see what it'll look like with the uh, light in it. If you incorporate it, sorry, incorporate it into a larger full scale map. So I uh, choose your colour, brightness of 100. Uh, I can't be asked to compile with HDR. And, um,. That is it, tutorial number 9. I think. Yes, tutorial number 9. I have to count that back over my head. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to run this map. I save it as trigger. I'm just going to push or whatever the hell your map name is. Let's <coughs> make sure there's nothing wrong. It's bouncing the light around so there's no leaks. Damn it. Yes, my desktop background's nice. Uh, in physics collision, blah 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 bounce, that's lovely there we go, and I'm just going to go test this in game for us, see you in a second ok, so um, here we are in game, I'm just going to open up my console to be map, space, trigger, underscore push, and I'm going to test it ok, so this is uh, the map, the mattress and the bed, and my lighting, because I like it ok, so I'm just going to there you go. And that'll enable that. You'll want to turn that off after a few seconds, obviously, because you can't exactly be doing this. Well, see, and it affects the player as well. But yeah, you'll be wanting. To, whoa, Jesus, Jesus, fucking sake! Uh, you'll be wanting to edit that to um, change uh, to disable after a certain amount of time as well. But um, this was a uh, my ninth tutorial. Um, I need something good to do for tutorial number 10. So if you can suggest anything, that would be greatly appreciated. Because um, I'm running low on ideas. Which isn't too good. Oh my god, this is incredibly loud. Oh, I think it works on grenades as well. Yep, yeah, it works on grenades. Shit, shit, it works on grenades. Ooh, that's loud. Sorry, um, if that's a bit loud on YouTube. <coughs> but I like the game loud. Yes, this was tutorial number 10. No, 9. See, I'm doing it again. Tutorial number 9. Um, I will see you in tutorial number 10, which I hope you'll suggest some new ones for me, because I'm running low on ideas. And um, I will see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye.